Yeah, well, this is exactly what I wanted to talk to you about, actually, because we've got this global problem. It's going to take a lot of solving. Where does venture capital fit in? It, so I think it's really important, but it has constraints as well as benefits, right? So venture capital allows people to take bigger risk and bigger opportunity. But actually, we all typically all invest from 10 year fixed life funds. We, we need results in that time frame. We, we have uh, potentially large, but still constrained capital. So it works on, on some sets of problems, whether it can be quite quickly, very rapid growth. It works less well on a range of others, which are also important for the environment. You know, I don't think it works for nuclear fusion particularly well, though there are some venture-backed startups in that area. I think massively important technology for 20 or 30 years time, perhaps. Right. So we deal in the, in the midterm, which I think is, you know, results in, in a few years to 10 years, but, but not more. And, and we have to find companies that can grow uh, pretty rapidly with relatively constrained capital, even in this venture capital environment.